Have you ever wondered why Jews have to eat kosher? Um, I've often read the Old Testament and read all these laws about clean and unclean foods and what believers were allowed to eat and all that stuff. And I wondered why, what's the point? And we can talk about sanitary reasons for eating various things back then, uh, but that doesn't really tell us why God gave them these laws so that Jews even today eat kosher. Well, in Leviticus, after God gave them a bunch of these laws, it actually says exactly why God gave them these laws. It says in Leviticus 11.45, I think, for I brought you out of the land of Egypt, so you are to be holy just as I, the Lord your God, am holy. So that's it. They were supposed to be holy. Holy just means separate. It means different. God gave them all these laws so that they would be different. God wanted the Jews to be different from all the nations of the earth. They were to be holy. They were to be consecrated to him. And we can read the whole Old Testament to find out why. God wanted the Jews to be a light to the nations. And obviously, the nations aren't going to listen to them unless they're different. If you're trying to share Jesus with people, but you look exactly like the people that you're sharing Jesus with, like in terms of the same lifestyle, they have no motivation for listening to you. So the way that they dress, the things that they eat, even these things were supposed to look different so that they would be obviously set apart for God. Now that was all a symbol. Because when we get to the New Testament then, Peter gets this dream in which God tells him that everything is edible, eatable, edible. He declared all foods clean. And the point that God was making to Peter was that even though the Jews were set apart for that purpose, and the Jews thought themselves to be clean and Gentiles unclean, God was telling them, no, through Jesus, I've made everything clean. Jews and Gentiles were all called to glorify God. We're all called to be holy. That doesn't mean that Gentiles like you and me, unless you're Jewish, uh, need to go and eat by kosher laws. No, that's not what God was saying to Peter. He was saying to Peter that without Jesus, we have to approach God in a very careful way. God's holy and we need to be holy if we're gonna be on his side. And we can't just approach him however we want. There were certain steps, there were certain laws, there was unclean, there was clean, there was the temple worship and all that. But because of Jesus, he takes away all of our sin, all of our uncleanness. God makes all of us holy. There's no separation between you and God. <laughs> so just rejoice in that. Believe in Jesus, resting in his grace, and rejoice that God saves you by his love. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.